What's up gamers? This is Coach Turkey and I just wanted to show you a quick and easy setup for mute on consulate for the cafeteria garage bomb site. So as far as our loadout is concerned, we're gonna take the shotgun, the SMG eleven, and a bulletproof camera. You can take a nitro cell, uh, that depends on the team comp, but for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna bring the bulletproof camera so I can show you a good spot for it. So let's get into it. Uh, I'll just do the setup first and I'll explain the reasoning behind it kind of as I go and afterwards. So our first jammer is going to go right here on top of these boxes. Second one is going to go in the corner over here underneath yellow stairs next to the sink. Our third jammer is going to go in security room on top of the file cabinet. Then we're gonna make a little rotate in between security and cafeteria. And last one's gonna go on top of mini fridge. Make another rotate. Then we can put down our bulletproof cam in the corner of the garage facing yellow stairs. As for our reinforcements, a couple different places you can put them. I'm gonna put mine in security room. First next to the door. And then in the middle of the wall facing garage. And then 30 seconds into the action phase, I'm done with my setup. There are some extra things we can do, but I'll show you those later. So, first of all, our jammers. Now, mute jammers, when a defender is within range, this little yellow, I'm sorry, this little blue icon will show up to let you know that you are within the jammer's range. As a defender, that's useful to you because if they, the attacking team has a Dokubi or a Lion, as long as you are within the jammer's range, uh, it will negate their gadget's effectiveness. Now, as for these jammer's locations, uh, these jammers are intended to deny information above on the first floor. This jammer here is going to deny information through the piano into yellow door. This jammer over here is going to deny information at the top of yellow stairs by the soda machine. So, first of all, yellow stairs, note the blue indicator. So any drone coming through here will be stopped in its tracks. Piano to yellow door, same thing. You note the blue indicator, it spans the entire door. Now, the other jammers we put down, the one on top of filing cabinet, is going to deny this double door right here. Any drone coming through this door will be stopped. And the jammer we put on top of the mini fridge will deny drones coming through main lobby on the left side of the circle desk, as well as most of this double door. So the reason why we want our jammers to deny information in those spots is to A, slow down the attacker's push, because the harder it is for them to get information, the slower they will push us, which gives us more time to adjust, and B, to help out our roamers. So when defending garage, um, we should have at least one, maybe two roamers that are trying to keep the attackers out of main lobby, bathroom, uh, connector, and piano room. All this floor is destructible, which puts all the defenders on site at risk. So if we can stop their drones from moving easily around the map, that gives our roamers a little extra room to breathe, uh, it should give them a little more confidence knowing that it will be harder for the attackers to drone them out. And I'm sure as you know, when you're feeling confident, that's when you hit your shots, that's when you play your best. There are a couple other spots you can put the jammers. So, for example, this hatch right here. Sometimes attackers will take this hatch out. Um, it's usually not a priority on most attacks, but it can be. And if, for example, their garage push fails, they might come over to this hatch instead. If you put a jammer 
on the table right there that will deny this hatch the same goes for bathroom hatch so if you put a jammer on the blue box right there that will deny most of this hatch i believe this little outer edge is still susceptible so if they have a thermite who's smart uh they might blow out this wall and put it right on the edge and still be able to get this but with Kaid coming into the game a few seasons ago, that's a little less necessary. So you could just as easily reinforce and throw an electric claw on those. As for our rotates, uh, the pretty standard rotates, this one in between garage and cafeteria uh, is absolutely necessary. You have to be able to move in between sites. So you can hold them off of yellow. And when they inevitably blow up in garage, you can fall back and hold or completely switch sites that you're on. This one right here is also good for freedom of movement for those who are staying on site. There are some other rotates you can open up. For example, on this wall, you can open this one up. So if your team has a mirror, if for some reason mirror wasn't banned, you can throw a mirror window right here and you can hold yellow very easily. Without that mirror window, this is a lot more dangerous, um, but it can still be done. And if you do have the mirror window when they get garage open, you can peek this, but without the mirror window, peeking this is very dangerous. Now, another thing we can do is open up the bottoms of a couple of walls, and this will give the defenders on site couple more angles to play with. Now, these won't always come into play, but it's better to have it than to not have it. And these are holes that very rarely, in fact, I've never um, been hurt by them necessarily. It's not that you can't be. Obviously, grenades can go through those. Drones can move through those. But as far as I know, they've never really hurt me. Um, they do give you a couple more angles. So for example, right here, I can see the bottom of the stairs. So if I know I'm being pushed from the rear, for example, somebody coming from spiral or coming from locker hallway, either I get the call out or the camera gets shot. And if I'm in security, I can drop behind this desk, peek it, and I can see their feet before they're going to be able to see me. And if I do see the, their feet, a couple bursts, and there's a good chance I've downed or headshot them. You can see where the bullets landed. So on spiral, that's going to take them out. Um, even if they're not on spiral, all right here, you'll be able to see them before they see you. Uh, if they are coming from spiral, there's little chance that they're going to see you. Uh, they would have to get down prone as well. And they might be able to see your foot if you're in a certain position. But if they're coming down spiral, they're going to be focused on door. They're going to be focused on pipes. They're going to be focused on a lot of other angles where they're expecting defenders to be. And if they do see that hole, they are either A, going to ignore it, or B, take a moment to check it out. And as they're doing that, you've seen their feet, and they are now out of the game. As for these holes right here, this is for whoever is holding behind yellow pillar or holding white fan. So same deal, uh, it allows you to see their feet before they can see you. So if you see their feet, get them through the wall or wait for them to come through the door. Because in order for them to use those holes to shoot you, they're gonna have to go prone. And that's highly unlikely, that makes them very vulnerable. I see no reason for an attacker to do that. As for our bulletproof camera, we put it in the corner of garage facing yellow stairs. That gives us a lot of information for the attackers that are pushing yellow stairs when they get the garage open. Um, any teammate who's been knocked out can sit on this cam and give call outs to whoever is playing in security or playing behind yellow pillar or playing behind or next to white and let them know, you know, uh, Ash is on stairs, she's peeking, and now I got her. Or 
Same thing if you have someone playing behind white and they haven't gotten garage open yet, you can play it the same way. Just wait for the call. They're on yellow. And there you go. So that's a pretty easy setup um, with a couple alternative mute spots. So to get the hatches, of course, there's a ton of other spots you can put things, but for most attacks on garage cafeteria, I find these jammers to be highly effective. So hopefully you learned something. Hopefully this is useful. I'm going to do some other videos for some other operators and some other sites. If there's ones in particular you want me to do, uh, just let me know and I will get that information to you. Thanks and uh, have a good one guys.